Brick City Entertainment Podcast TV channel Episode 24 Trap, trap, trap Fair life Fair life I'm about to give it to you You hear me? I was talking to my son Gucci me earlier You know, you know I'll tell you about all, you know, be all the cases I was the one going for nine years <laughs> All occasions, all kind of rules and regulations you got to go by. I'm going to give you all the details. A lot of people don't know fair life. You got to do time in prison, in fair prison, you know. The rules and regulations. Yeah, I ain't talking about authority. I'm talking about the gangs, not gangs. <laughs> yeah, people think they're gangsters. You know, gangsters can do time in prison, man. Hold you on. No matter how you taking your commissary, punking you down. All right. That's real to me. You hear me? Anyway. But fair, uh, I was talking to my son, talking about a fight and stuff, you know what I mean? Um, it was a Virginia dude. He was called Button. I don't know the guy's name. He told me the story I got me. I just can't remember. But he was called Button. And the other dude, I can't remember. I want to say he. But he was from Durham. He had 32. Yeah, he didn't play. He didn't play. Uh, he, all, he came from the pen. When guy came from the pen, they wanted some other stuff. They time from pen time and medium time and uh, it's different the low medium all the, you do pen time it's different yeah. I'll give you some rules on that too anyway but, um yeah but anyway but they can hell it down in our, in our uniform I mean he would plug in with the CEO we get shot at FCI Winsboro South Carolina get a little input when I was down there they had to add CEOs in, in the, uh, the clothes laundry you know you go with your clothes and whatever and um one the officer, they made that money. Yeah. They had officers come with that. Officer bring cigarettes. I caught a cigarette back then, like 40, between 40, 60 dollars. And the officer charged them five hundred dollars a card. <laughs> yeah, one of them nickel diamond. Those officer charging five hundred dollars for a card cigarette. So whoever got the cigarettes, in, they they had the money. They ran the number. They had the stamps or whatever, whatever. But, but nigga, he just had that connection with that. So he had a unit man. Oh, my man. You know what I mean? He gets uh, 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 get some credit. You hear me? <laughs> but, but they get credit. Oh, man. Anyway. But this is what happened. Um, but yeah, the officer, yeah. They, they know that they'll get them. They, they get money. They was, officers can get money. They doing it right now, believe me. With cigarettes and whatever else they got going, and they charge big money. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying, man. man but this is what happened. It was crazy. You know, you had one, two, three, four, five. In our unit, you had like six TVs. Then you had an upstairs tier, and they had a TV room like that too. So sometimes you know they had a white session, you had a Spanish session, you had a black session, you like that. You know, black and white, they TV. You know, it was like that. Too. You know how it goes. White people watch their stuff, black people watch their stuff, Spanish watch their stuff, you know. Anyway. But sometimes people sit in certain areas. This is what happens. People sit in a certain area. Every day he sat there in a certain area. My, my friend from Durham, my homie, whatever. And, um, but Nick decided to, that was his spot right there. <laughs> that day he watched me football game, you know, everybody gambling. And, um, that what happened. So he goes out. To one of his homies outside of the room, he go get a something to stand with this long. He had a rat around his fingers. I was telling my son that he had a white rat around his finger and he had it like this. It about this long. I like man. So we in the room, they said, we know I, it, it, he kept Buck Naked coming out. Boom, they run. He hit them like this. But Buck Naked throwing him. I'm telling you, Buck Naked putting him. He moving him. The boy hitting him. He was hitting Buck Naked all right. There. But he had, he had blood spot all down. He was hitting. And they got at it over that. I'm trying to tell you over that. Because old boy from Durham, he, he was already, he came from the pen, and different rules, you just don't do stuff like that. You don't jump line. You don't do that kind of stuff. You don't jump that line. You can jump in line, you everybody to fight. You don't jump in lines. Ultimate disrespect. Jump, jump in line, the lunch line, all that stuff. I don't say that. I got stole. He played them games like that. But he was one of them dudes. So, that what happened. What happened when they were fighting, right? Boom, they getting at it. So now the CL, boom, boom, boom. 
Now they getting there. They call him back up. He got the knife. This is why I'm telling my son of sport, but this is how many. He wanna try to pass me the knife. This long. You know got cameras everywhere. I said, No man, you can't do that right there. You can't even flush that down the toilet. Cause that way he ran, he ran the room. You thought he can flush, you can't flush this thing this long. He come back out of the room, he's trying to get to me. He moving, he's just trying to pass. <sighs> Put my hand on. No, can't do that, man. <laughs> oh, you know, I feel like, you know what, I want to see you like, man, what are you going to do? My man, man, you know, I'm trying to go, oh, you know what I mean? He's trying to pass me something this big. Everybody looking. I had to do him like, I'm sorry. Yo, get shot. My homie, you remember the story? Yeah, man, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, that was pressure. Anyway, that why I had boom boom. He ended up trying to stash it in the in the in the where we wash our clothes at. And the way put it in up getting away. They got the cameras, they got everything. You can't hide from them. Yeah. Some place you can fight. In the room up there in the, in the unit. But how, you wanna go ahead and fight, you throw the towel up. Go in your door because every every cell you got two people going in there. Go in there, you throw the towel up, you can't see nothing. You just All you can hear boom boom. <laughs> That how you fight there, or you go upstairs to TV room, get it in. Yeah, so we get ready to fight all the time. Yeah, so we fight, yeah. But that incident, I, I couldn't, I couldn't grab that. But anyway, they ain't uh, once they see that, they ain't again. But they can bring her back out on um in the dorm, man. It got my right back popper though. <laughs> he was a true. He had like twenty. He had like twenty. He done dumb. He done dumb for that time. Came back. He was a trip too. But anyway, I'm going to give you ah, plenty of stories in the feds. Fed life, you hear me? Yeah, different ways. I did nine years and at one cell. I was, believe it or not, before I went home, it was probably like one guy that was in that unit, that one dormitory, longer than me. I stood up so long. See what I'm saying? I probably got that 2016 all the way uh, 2000, 2006. 2015, so that one, yeah, one place. It's all officers. Let me get shout out, Miss Coker, uh, Miss Cheney. <laughs> Let me get shout out to uh, Shane Gwen. She, uh, she helped me. There. Let me tell y'all something. People, y'all got people locked up in the feds. Y'all got people locked up in state prison and uh, any kind of um, use prison. I don't know what it is. Y'all need to write letters to people. It means a lot. Uh, cars on their birthday, Christmas. And when they call y'all, don't be looking at y'all cell phone. We get a call from prison, and they know it. Stop it. And y'all was guilty of it. You hear me? <laughs> All of it. But I'm just telling you, for real, it means a lot. You, you ain't done time. You know what I'm talking about. You do time. You understand that means a lot. Just just a family member. Reach out, go see them, coronavirus. Go visit them. They letting people go visit them. Now this stuff about to pick back up, but right now they let people visit people in state prison right now. I know that. So go out there. It means a lot. Letters and my family, my mom. <laughs> let me tell you something. When I call home from the Fed, I don't want to talk nobody but my mom or you hear me. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to somebody who go down there and pray. I don't like that. Ain't nobody tell grandma to pray. Yeah. I'm going to talk to a praying warrior. I ain't calling you talking about it. I don't know who talking about mama. But I'm just mama warrior. <laughs> I'll call her for the whole time. The true story. I'm talking to nobody but my mom. I love my mom. She kept held me down. My whole family held me down. I got out. My sister while I held me down. I got home. She showed me the whole room. You know what I mean? All my nephew. Yeah. Yeah, my nephew Tay Backwood. <clears throat> You hear me? <laughs> yeah. Let me get a shout out to uh, my son, Dominique. All the fam, you know, you know, Blue Jack. Uh, yeah. Um, everybody. But I'm going to keep it hot. I'm keeping for our fed life. Keep what's going on in the prison. My whole bid, you know, I got plenty of stories. Life stories. Spanish against the blacks. DC go hard in the feds. I got the Stick the girls and they check that paperwork. <laughs> DC check that paperwork. No, no, uh -uh, come here. They go hard too. Yeah, they had I'm talking about, uh, I, you know, that kind of stuff. Pockets stay clean, but. Shout out everybody though. 
Buck naked was VA. Um, everybody, man. Man, horse, Charleston. Uh, man, a whole bunch of people in Charleston. Man. Charleston, what tripped me out? Gucci, what else? Buford, too? I couldn't understand it because I thought it was. I actually thought they were Charleston and the people down there. They call it Gucci, whatever. I thought it was Jamaicans. I couldn't understand what they were saying. Now, horse was my man. He could play ball. But my dog, we gonna me and horse gonna ball. And Raiders, what was it part? Hard over me. Couple guys. But y'all couldn't understand nothing. What words they say? But they was some cool dudes. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, Florida go along with that's what it is. Let me get y'all Joe Brown, yeah. LaRue. Lou had 30. Lou had my with LaRue. Lou, 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 Lou got my he the one got my job down there. FCI. Let me get shot at LaRue. Hope he home, man. He was down about 16 when I was 17, 18, so I've been out six, shoot, so. He had 30. He got to 26 out of 30 in the fed. 26 and a half. That's the way I did. <laughs> Oh, y'all, God, I'm telling you. Watch out for them hammers, them bullets. I seen a guy caught one bullet, got 15 years. A bullet, got a bullet print or something. I mean, fingerprints on I ain't playing dirty in the field. Yeah, I'm gonna talk, I ain't scared of them. You know what I mean? I'm gonna let you know, yeah, y'all be careful in these streets. Man, oh well. Uh, Brick City Entertainment Podcast, <sighs> TV channel, keep your heart. Smack Black, ready to come out too. Um, Episode 24, uh, I'm going to keep it rolling, and uh, get back at ya, you hear me? <clears throat>